Well, how is it that such huge accounting anomalies went unchecked when Satyam accounts went through auditing? That's a big question that everyone has been asking ever since that uh, fraud news broke. Now, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India will be constituting a committee that will actually look into this. The committee will essentially try to get to the root of the problem, what really went wrong while the accounts were being audited. They'll also be working closely with other regulators such as SEBI and also the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Well, joining us now is uh, the President of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, Mr. Ved Ved Jain. Uh, good morning and uh, thank you so much for joining us on NDTV. Now, we do know that there is a special committee that is going to be formed. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about what its role is really going to be? See, the, yesterday we had our council meeting, a special meeting to address the issue of the Satyam, which is unprecedented and which is really shocked the whole of the India and the accounting profession. It's a very, very serious issue. Though we have a mechanism for disciplining and the financial reporting review board, which is taking record, but the council thought fit that we need to constitute a committee to look into the whole gamut and how it happened and what happened and what actions are required to be taken. And meanwhile, many discussions took place which are very, very specific to, to, the, to address this type of issue. Satnam is a very major blow to the Indian financial and Indian capital market the way it has been carried out. And we are really surprised. So that's why this committee will look into the every aspect and then look into the multifarious activity which are coming to the light. We need to coordinate with the various regulator, may it be SEBI, may it be Ministry of Corporate Affairs, may be Reserve Bank of India and later on maybe the income tax department. So we thought fit that why don't we have a committee which will coordinate and will, will ensure very expeditious and speedy uh, uh, investigation and ensure what happened and how it happened. And then we'll also suggest measures what need to be done more at our level. Meanwhile, I may just share something more with you that while this uh, discussion was going on yesterday, the council noted that in public interest entity, there need to be a more vigilance and that's why the council was of the view that while appointing auditor of public interest entities, may it be private sector bank, may it be mutual fund, may it be insurance company, private insurance company, I think the appointment should come from the regulator as has been the case in the public sector bank. In public sector bank, the appointment of auditor is made by the Reserve Bank of India. So should be the case with the private sector bank. In the case of private insurance company, the appointment of auditor should flow from the IRDA. And so these are right. cases of mutual fund where the states are not of the management but also of the depositor, the mutual fund contributor, unit holders, all that issues are there. Right.